listen to a young girl who was saying that the Arab community here is totally very angry. So be very interested in this point at all. Yes, so With too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. You know, after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these red lights on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet. We are strategizing at the African Center for Community and Development to establish a feed base for pigs that is going to be eco-friendly and as well as to lead up to the price of industrial feed in this area. As it is very expensive, therefore we need alternatives. And pigs being omnivores, it is only but logical that it will be preferable to mix their food with some of the local species that are edible and that have high nutrient value. So here we have a grass that grows in the tropical rainforest area of Cameroon and in the traditional cosmic logic of the Bakori people and other tribes around this region it's an antibiotic and it's also rich in proteins. It grows fast almost year round and therefore it is good to feed pigs with. We also have a plant that is edible by humans. And we've been able to take it right out of its roots because it was, it was growing wild to join with the feed. This is medicinal as well. It's used for stomach-related issues um, in African cosmic logic and therefore it is also good base, food base for the pigs. This is very known among the the Bayang people and some tribes of the centralized fondoms of the Northwest region of Cameroon. And it is part of the tested practices that have been in Africa for thousands of years. And with this, it is possible that when you strategize to feed them with industrial feed, you will cut costs because they grow naturally about. And we will be moving on to look at the pigs as the feed from the bounty that we've harvested from nature. So there we go with the antibiotics. The pigs like it, while some people might dismiss it as a wild grass, increasingly it is necessary that such knowledge systems are vulgarized in order that many more users can come in the fold of those who understand the right grass to give pigs. There you go there. And that is our consultant, um, Ayok Moses, is giving us some advice as well on pig farming.
traditional knowledge systems must be well understood and studied in order to add value to some of the scientific practices of this time. The neglect of traditional knowledge systems in certain areas, even though it has been seriously exploited in the pharmaceutical industry, has led a lot of people suffering from diseases and, in poverty, and remaining in poverty for centuries now. It is hoped that modern times will mesh with the knowledge systems that our ancestors created to establish more meaningful and sustainable systems for tomorrow. More than ever, the arguments for conservation are even stronger, as it is logical that safe ecological heavens are maintained in areas like Africa so that people can harvest natural species, can maintain their natural gene banks in order to supplement livelihoods options like pig farming. If nature is destroyed, it is automatic that other systems that benefit from nature will also crumple. So pig farming and goat farming will also crumble in the long run if Africa does not do enough to conserve its nature. If Africa does not create the eco centers that people can harvest naturally and that if urbanization is not planned and leads to the spiraling of cities and ghettos and the wasting of nature without measurement. Thank you very much for watching people, places and events. I have been reporting on some traditional brass species in Africa that are used as uh, alternatives to expensive um, pig food, industrialized pig food in this part of the world. And some of them are medicinal, some are just high in proteins and therefore it is good for us to strategize and to mix those things because Sometimes vulnerable communities and subpopulations find it very difficult to access industrial food. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much. And uh, you just listen to a young girl who was saying that the community here is totally very angry. Thank you very much for your So be very interested in this point at more than so. With too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. You know, after some of these deadly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these red lights on the pavements of our contemporary life. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet.